This is a omelette simulation that simulates a sensor network. It's a multi C fault tolerant sensor network. The basic objective is uh, to modify the leach protocol, which is a cluster based routing protocol. And if you run the simulation, this is pretty much sums up our network. There are four sinks which are placed at uh, four different corners and a group of sensor source which are spread all over. We will run the simulation. At the beginning, it's a network discovery, so every node uh, sends a hello packet uh, or network discovery packet to every other node. As you can see over here, the hello packets are getting transmitted. This uh, are nothing but the source nodes. So we assume that not all the nodes are transmitting, but these are the source nodes. And the gray color nodes are nothing but the sensor nodes, uh, which might later be chosen as router or cluster head. The objective is to route the packets to the cluster head. So first we have to form cluster head. Now, if I'm allowed, I'll just speed up the simulation using the fast mode. and. After some time, we will see that the cluster heads have been formed. You can see this icon, tower icons, which are cluster heads. Now, cluster heads are formed with uh, three criteria. One, the cluster head should have cluster head should have maximum number of neighbors. Second, it should have maximum energy. Third, no two cluster heads should be too close to each other because if you can see in this region, uh, then this would have been another cluster head because this is quite clumsy. So these are the three options. Now once we form the cluster head, we also assume that the cluster head can communicate over a longer distance. So if you could see the links, you could, if I can show you, you see here is a cluster head over here. And you can invariably see this link spreads over a longer distance. Also, the cluster head, uh, which is node number 49, and this cluster head. So, the cluster head to cluster head communication quite fast. And the objective is to discover a route uh, to any of these things through the cluster head. The communication objective is a source node can transmit to cluster head, a cluster head can transmit to another cluster head of the sync node. Intermediate nodes are just uh, temporary nodes which could either become a source node or clustered. They cannot participate in routing. So, if we run the simulation in the first node, wait till root reply data is formed. Once you have got enough root reply data, stop it. We will be searching for the root. Now, we have obtained one root over here, node number 15 to 44, 20, 49, 0. Node number 15 to 44. You see, this is a 40 node number 44. So, 15 sends the data to cluster head, node number 44. 44 sends it to 20. So, 44 sends it to Twenty, yeah, which is another source node. Of course, twenty sends it to forty-nine. So twenty sends it to forty-nine, and forty-nine sends it to zero. So as you can see that in the entire path there is no uh, normal node. So cluster head transmitting, I mean source node transmitting to cluster head, it to another cluster head that to a source node that is coming down to another cluster head, and the data is going to the source node. We have several paths. Another path is 15 to 36 to 0. So, if you can see, we are discovering multiple paths from every uh, source node to the source node. So, that if a path fails, 15 to 36 to 0. So, 15 to 36 to 0. And 36, node number, yeah, 36. And from here to 0. So, we have over here multiple paths. So, now I will be putting it into express mode so that data communication continues. As you can see, a lot of data will be now transmitted. And 
Now this is a precarious scenario. When the data communication is continuing, lot of nodes could be losing their energy. Now if any of the cluster it happens to lose its energy, before it loses out of its energy, other cluster reds will be formed. I uh, will observe this scenario over here. As you can see, a lot of nodes are becoming red. A lot of cluster reds were here earlier. And now new cluster reds will be formed. Once new cluster reds are formed, old cluster reds will be withdrawn. So, a lot of new formation. Uh, you know, if you could remember the, the old topology. So, a lot of new cluster reds will be formed. And, It's going to try to send the data through most number of possible cluster reds and uh, when uh, no more cluster formation is possible, data will be stopped. So, so it's 57% packet delivery ratio, lifetime, 428 seconds, lifetime is the time when the first node loses its energy, latency uh, 0 0.021 seconds and throughput in is 2 Mbps. Now, this is a configuration which is uh, for uh, node number 60. Now we have a runner pp file. I will be uh, running it for node number 40. Remember node number 60 had uh, throughput 50, I mean PDR 57 percent. So I will be straight away putting it into express mode so that uh, you could just check out the simulation faster. Look, the network loses its energy, the simulation stops, uh, packet delivery ratio is almost about 4% for uh, 30 number of nodes, throughput is about 2.69 and we can keep changing this parameter, I will make it uh, 45, we'll put it for express mode. In the simulation time limit is given about 1200 seconds so packet delivery ratio changes so in this way we can note down the packet delivery ratio the throughput and uh, every other parameter we can uh, finally plot them in excel sheet so we can vary number of nodes we can vary their initial energy we can vary number of uh, cluster reds per node so each of this parameter could be varied uh, and we could check out the simulation with respect to this changed parameters all right so for 30 number of nodes packet delivery ratio was about 34 percent so this is how this entire simulation is carried out uh, so source node sends data to cluster red cluster red boots the data to the sync through either other cluster reds or through source nodes uh, the other intermediate node acts as uh, temporary nodes if a cluster red loses its energy before losing its energy only we replace the cluster red with another cluster red such so that uh, by the time the cluster red loses its energy another cluster red is readily available for transmission of the data thank you